This is Dave Palumbo with RxMuscle.com. I'm here at Yama Sushi, All You Can Eat. We're doing a little warm-up for the Sunday All You Can Eat Sushi Eat-Off. Uh, Sally and I sampled all the wares here with our good friends from Italy, Gian Enrico Pica and Ma Vigio. And uh, the food is great, and they're ready for us, and I think they might be able to handle us, although we did do quite a bit of damage in there, and... Uh, they weren't that happy about the fact that we were uh, eating so much food. Wait till we bring the crew we're bringing on Sunday. That's all I have to say for you right now. Uh, well, we're going to go around and visit a couple more locations uh, in Las Vegas here to give you guys an idea of what's going on. Olympia weekend. For now, hold on. We'll be back in a few. All right. They love her. They love her. I'm outside the minus five uh, bar here in the Mandalay Bay, and uh, I was told this is a pretty good place to go. You got to put a, a parker and gloves on to go into the place because it's actually minus five degrees inside. Uh, I don't know what kind of drinks they have, but I bought the the VIP package, so I'm going to get to put on the whole garb, I'm going to go in there and get a drink, and I'm going to see if uh, if it's a place I'd recommend to other people to go see here on RX Muscle. Only on RX Muscle I do this shit for you guys, so keep an eye on me. I don't think an extra large is going to fit me, but I might have shrunk. I don't know. Let me see this. Yeah, give me a double X. This is a little, a little, the arms, you know, the arms, they're a little, a little small. All right, let's see. Double X. I think I'm going to need a triple, personally, but... It must be very cold in there if I have to wear this uh, coat. I feel like I'm in jail again. This is what they gave me when I was in jail. You, you walked around like, like you know, one of the brothers, you know, in the coat. All right, what else? Do I get gloves? Oh, I get the gloves in the next room? All right, let's, let's go into the next room. Sally, we got to get you a coat. One size. One size fits. They're one size fits all hands. I got the hands. It's like I feel like OJ putting the glove on. If it does not fit, you must acquit. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. White gloves you couldn't get for the you know, black gloves. All right, you see what I guys do for you guys? I gotta get a coat and gloves on to go get a freaking drink. Um, I, any hats? Do I get a wool hat? No wool hats. All right, I, I got to turn the camera off, guys, so you'll have to wait till I come out to find out exactly how it went in there, all right? <laughs> guys, have you been in there yet? Chicago. What's that? Have you been in there yet? No, not yet. Where are you from? Chica Wisconsin right now. Where are you from? Chicago. Chicago. Can't be colder than Chicago in there. The ice bar there, minus five degrees. I got my ice glass. Believe it or not, this glass is not a glass, but it's actually I made out of ice. So in a, probably in about another 10, 15 minutes, it's going to completely melt. If you can see, it's dripping water right here. Uh, I still got my gloves on because it's, it's that cold to hold. Uh, I'm warming up in the fireplace over here, uh, you know, to get back a little juice. I'm feeling a little stiff after all that, you know, coldness. But I can see that this place would be a great place to go if, say, you know, you just got out of a club, you're sweating a lot, and you want to cool off. Uh, I highly recommend minus five degrees uh, Celsius or whatever five degrees Fahrenheit. I guess it would Celsius. We would have been dead. Uh, I had a great time in there. I had a really good drink. I don't remember the name of it, but it was good, and I'm feeling good. So I'm going to go on and do some more exploring in uh, Las Vegas and uh, keep you guys updated all night long. I'm sock sh shopping here in uh, Las Vegas because uh, we're at the uh, the Vegas Sock Exchange here. So I figure I have to find something good. I'm going to buy Aaron Singerman a gift yeah. because. I kind of feel like I've been neglecting him lately. He did have a show. He's been doing good work on the Arch Muscle site with his Muscle Gossip column. So come over here. Let's look and see if we can find a pair of socks in my life. I don't know if Aaron is, a, is necessarily a fish guy. You know, this is like a, kind of like a koi. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think he really takes care of animals very much. Uh, maybe an owl because he's kind of wise, right? Uh, keep looking. I don't think he'd like them. He wouldn't probably wouldn't want to go for the mermaid. I don't, I don't see him as a mermaid type of guy. I know I'm going to find something that's going to suit his personality here. Let's see if we keep looking. He's kind of monkey-ish, right? He's kind of like a monkey. He's a funny monkey. Chunky monkey. What else? 
I don't think he'd like little dogs. I can't really see him going for that. Um, what else do we got here? Can you see him as like a koala bear? I'm not really sure about a koala bear. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got exactly what, what he's going to I found it. I got it. Jewish socks. Jewish socks for the Jubaka. King of the Jews, Aaron Singerman. I'm going to get him the Jewish now. I wonder if he liked the dreidels, the Hanukkah ones, or I think the Star David would probably be more appropriate. His mother would probably really like this, and he might pick up a Jewish girl this weekend. So Aaron, I'm going to get you these as a nice gift, and uh, get back to you later. Ben White, uh, because he is so fond of all things black, I got him some black soap. Now, from what they tell me, it's supposed to be good for your skin, and Ben, I know you only like black things. I know you, you, you have a very uh, strong color preference. And so I got you some black soap uh, you can put on your black face and maybe make it even a little blacker than it was before. Uh, and it will remove all the oils, they say, and uh, leave some moisture in there. So it's good for you as well. So we've got a lot of useful ingredients. Uh, I've never seen a $10 piece of soap like this, but for that much money, it must be good, right? Well, let's continue our journey and see if we can find a couple more trinkets and, and, and good things for all our wonderful uh, friends and fans over at rxmuscle.com. Move man, move right, do your dance on that floor. We don't Superman no more, we just Spider-Man and ho. Now watch me, bring that Spider-Man, bring that Spider-Man, bring that Spider-Man. I'm shopping for gifts for John Romano now because I don't want to make him feel left out since he is my partner and everything like that. So I was thinking about maybe the Titan Enlarger Pump. Uh, it's a very sophisticated system of penal enlargement, but you know, I don't think he has a problem in that department. Um, let's see if we can find something else. Hmm. Ooh, I see something great. The Barack Obama blow-up doll. Uh, presidential love doll. John, you can make love to... President uh, Barack Obama anytime you want. This is right up your alley because I know you're a very big Barack Obama fan. This is what I'm going to get him. Let's take this because you can have many hours of pleasure with this. Uh, uh, they don't really show uh, if, if it's anatomically correct, but he'll stimulate your package. And I know how much you like that word, John. Move right, do your dance on that floor. We don't Superman no more. We just Spider Man and Ho. Now watch me, Frank and Spider Man. Frank and Spider Man. Frank and Spider Man. Frank and Spider Man. Dropping in her when yeah, I brought the squad to crank that Spider Man and shooting webs just like a zone. Yeah, I'm a little alarm, dude. I'm about to crank my damn for Bitch, I'm fly already. What I need the Superman for? Spider Man bands on and step up in the place. I don't skeet it on that hoe. I shoot a web all on the face. Everybody's.